Improper disposal of waste, choked gutters, unbearable stench, littered floor, environmental pollution coupled with insanitary condition hazards are the words that could best describe the worrying situation at Tema Station. Tema Station is a big lorry station situated in the heart of the capital city of Ghana. It is a place where most commuters converge daily to pick buses to their various destinations. Apart from commuters, you're likely to find local agents, petty traders, food vendors, motorbike operators and all manner of people engaged in one activity or the other. Oh, bon. ah! oh, that means station number one. They are on the 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 station number one. So, what actually is the cause of these problems? I did the Kaya Mm. Yes, yeah, inferring that it is filthy inside the body. Mm. Also, people from other sides of the city. Mm. Mm. Inferring refusing inside all the time. They even call it when we are not here. Mm. 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 Most people who live around here complain incessantly about effects of some communicable diseases such as diarrhea, cholera, dysentery, among others, which they have to battle with on a daily basis as a result. You see, the demonstration as you've seen, um, we have a challenge there. We do the cleansing, we do all that we're supposed to do as AM. But then it's like there are people who also sleep in the market. We have places of convenience in the market. Meanwhile, these people will not go to that place. They may be at dawn or in the night. They tend to deposit everything that they are we don't like the waste products or everything into the place. These are the challenges that you have. So until we have everyone housed where we know that oh, you are living here, the waste you generate here is being collected from that home, we will be safe. But when we have people living at I mean hmm, I don't know how to explain resident it. places, places here yeah, like the masses, okay. People living there, mm -hmm. how can that person, how can you register that person? Mm -hmm. Because he only comes to sleep at, the, at night, in the morning, the person is no more mm -hmm. So the, all the refuse or the waste that that person generates finds itself in the drains and other places. You understand? Mm -hmm. This is the situation we have. And there is no council housing as we have in other jurisdictions. Mm -hmm. Where maybe all these people will say oh, the city council or the city authority have a cheap housing for them. Where maybe you have maybe two or three people in one room. So that everything they generate will be centralized. And this collection will be easy. But they are stuck there. People are sleeping in kiosks. You understand? Which the kiosk you know is being used for commercial activity in the daytime, but at night there's somebody sleeping in. That person will also do some waste. Mm -hmm. Where would that waste go? See, these are issues which are now beyond care. Until the government provides council houses for the homeless, commuters, petty traders, food vendors, local agents transport service providers and all those who patronize the terminal will continue to bear the brunt of this hazardous situation which is a major threat to human life. <laughs>